Hey, hey guys, this is Ari from TechShare. Um, today I'm going to um, explore a couple of options. Um, first of all, this uh, hybrid rendering. Um, so very often uh, we, we see this kind of conversation or documentation like this, but it doesn't give any more details, right? So what it does is, what it says is, um, there is a way you can basically combine the SSG and SSR. So static site generation, maybe you could use as a sort of base fetching mechanism. And then you might have some pages which needs to be under the server side rendering because your data that you are going to fetch, um, that needs to be from the server directly and render from there because um, maybe the data is sensitive or maybe um, the data you know frequently updates and users don't want to miss that one. So a lot of reason uh, people can choose these two together. And if you want to see any examples out there, then you would hardly see any examples like that. Um, so, you know, and then people started start searching in Google and try to find this kind of documentation, but really did not help much. Um, so today I, I basically um, created, I'll, I'll share basically. So I created this um, page here so this is basically the default page that I have. Um, so this is all SSG. Uh, so I, I, I sort of, I took the default approach. I created this project, um, this solution. This is a SS standalone, not a XM cloud solution, but a standalone the SS one. Um, and um, I use 22, the SS next version 22. So the latest one. And um, by default, obviously I took SSG. That's why you can see this SSG. Now I'm going to create a page. Um, which will be served through SSR. So how are we going to do that? So that I will try to explain today. So I already have did something, but uh, let me share that on to you. So now, uh, I guess the very first point here is, um, so if I open this path, um, so basically this is the default. Um, so basically um, the route of dynamic routing that Next.js has. So this sort of basically hit everything. Every every route pro, pro will be served through that one. So now um, if you create um, create a, a page routing like this, so I have created a page routing here. I created this folder live data and under that I put a slug here. Basically any, um, any, any web, any URL which would be slash live data slash something would be served through this um, slug.tsx. Now, um, what I want to make sure is any page that is under this live data or route that needs to be served through the SSR, whereas this default path is SSD, right? So I think that's quite clear. So just to testing purpose, I'm going to basically put a number, high number here. Um, now, um, so a couple of things here. So you can go and create this live data or any folder basically under the page and then you started browsing that one. But surprisingly, you, no you would notice that you cannot go here because this path, right? This path will catch every route. So whenever you put anything like this live data slash something, this path will be the first to handle. So when the path will be executed, this path TSX dynamic routing, will be executed then basically you will get the call here and then when the call is here it basically calls the uh, sort of you know um, uh, static site uh, uh, static get static props right so here what will what will happen is try to <clears throat> it is try to get the props return the props and um, what it will basically do is it try to resolve your page. If the page is there, that's fine. So I, ideally, obviously, that would be all served in the cache uh, or SSG. So it will try to get it from there. If it doesn't get it, then ideally you would get this not found. Um, not found, basically, um, you know, if you have a page set up for not found, then you would get this 404 and then accordingly it will basically serve. So you can see the page not found. Um, so the Problem now is um, I have, for example, a live data and um, underneath that I set up a page. I want to serve this page through the SSR. Then how we are going to get rid of this path first? Because if it comes here, basically means everything would be served from there. So it will not even, it will not even, even reach here. So if the live data slash 
page one, whatever it is, if you already have created in the CM. So if I now go to the CM in my CM, then I can see here um, my host is, uh, I forget the name of the host. On second, uh, so this is going to be my host. So let, if I go here, then you would see uh, I already have set up this space. Um, so there is no magic for that. Um, now, um, so if your route matches with your URL, right? So then it would serve directly from the sidecore. Now, the serving will happen from here. So if the serving happens from here, then point is how we are going to utilize this server side rendering. So it will always utilize client side or SSG, right? So that we need to do, that we need to consider something here. So let me go here and share you the page that I have set up. So here under the home, I have this live data and you can basically create any page here that would be served through the SSR. That is the idea, right? So I have created one page and I put it, call it as page one. Now here um, we need to get rid of this one. So the easiest way for this to use the middleware.ts file. So if you open the middleware.ts, this middleware.ts basically put under the source directory directly. So in the source, we have this middleware.tx and this basically um, very easy option for you guys. So what you need to do, you need to first tell, hey, you please don't catch my um, my route, uh, the default route or def default dynamic route handler that we have. Please don't consider my route. So that's why I put this live data here. So you would already see this kind of you know regular expression. You just need to include your your stuff in there, right? So this live data route uh, is found here. So I tell him, please don't catch my route. So that is the way uh, you could basically bypass from this path. So now the path will not handle your your route. So basically, then what will happen is it is up to the next. Um, next JS framework that will basically catch you, catch your request if it, it masses. So now the request goes to the slug here. So once the request goes goes here under this, then you can see here this is basically the typical way of creating um, the server side rendering. So this sidecore page is the same that you have. You can copy paste from here, right? So this is the same sidecore page, um, but we have these server side props and when you are using get server side props obviously you don't need to use the revalidate because it is always go and grab it um i guess the other important thing and i did not test whether that break or not but previously obviously there was a reason that this context dot result you really have to pass um you have to properly uh, basically set this property here and that, pro that when you set this one then it would be easier for you um, going forward when um, the JSS library will resolve the path. I guess the other thing you need to consider is um, <clears throat> the, the static path, static content. So when your um, your static SSG tree, you know, kicks in and um, generate the static content, you have to tell, please don't go and, you know, generate live data because it is served from, from my uh, server. So that is, you could quite easily do is through the lib there is the option to skip that one and thanks to sidecore again because you literally don't need to do anything so you just need to configure so in under under the sitemap feature um under the plugin you would have this graphql sitemap service and here this exclude paths so this property so ideally uh, by default there is no exclude path uses but if you want to exclude anything um then you could exclude from here so yeah so I, I just tell him that hey please don't include my live data route because i'm going to serve it directly from the ssr so now if i go and open my page then let me test it right so in the home page <clears throat> what i'm going to do is there is a title and uh, there are some data so let me put some data here so what i'm going to do is um client side rendering let me go and refresh this page you can see here the page is coming here so I'm just putting some data test one. So this test one um, appears here. Um, if I go and um, so this um, this live data page one. Um, so now if I go here 
and this is also serving right and how we are going to tell that yeah this is serving from my um from my this slug dot txt because i have some log written here so if i go to the very bottom of my log here then you would see um so this one says that inside live data site code paste so if i search this one then you know you would see basically it come from it comes from the slug dot .esx. so it is coming here so it is coming here and then it serves from this server side rendering. So you would you would also see this log here, this inside server side props. You would see just a little bit above of this one, uh, like this server side props. So yeah, so this is all working fine. Um, I tested it, I verified it, um, all looks good. So um, I'm going to put this uh, repository to the um, GitHub so that you can also go and check this one, right? And I will also, Put it in the github because i can go and refer the, this one anytime because you know this is something this kind of use case is very frequently uh you know we see in the website but people really afraid of implementing that because you know there was no such there were not um much uh, examples out there so this example will definitely help you and i guess 22 this is next has a lot of improvement that's why it is so easier now uh, before it was it was not that easy but um, yeah hopefully you guys you guys will have some idea now all right then i guess that's all for today i'll put everything in the description so you guys go and grab it from the description and if you have any questions then uh, feel free to ask me and um, yeah uh, subscribe my channel if you if you, do, you don't have yet all right guys guys chat you soon bye